if you don't have something you are doing with your hands that idea of telling you just give and you will prosper is a scam everybody prospering in this kingdom is doing something when you have nothing to do you make it difficult for god to bless you it becomes easy for god to bless you when you have something to do there is no spirit that can prosper a man who is doing nothing we have a generation of people today who just lock themselves up in the cave and they pray in tongues for eight months and when they come out they come out and become fake prophets and scammers because no matter how spiritual they are they cannot deny the fact that they need clothes to wear and something to eat and when they can no longer get those things they close their eyes and say an angel is talking to them and they say bring what you have you are having this in your pocket bring it out you are a thief <laughs> you are a terrible thief and if you don't repent the wrath of god will soon come on you for bringing reproach to the name of jesus christ i walked with my hands and you have to start from somewhere listen i have a master's degree there was nothing to do and god forced me to stay in makodi i was in makodi for five years while i was in makodi i was teaching in a school earning twenty-five thousand naira with master's degree because i know instead of lying down at home and prophesying and praying in tongues hoping that one day god will lift me and start giving me millions it is important i did something at the time and so for five years i was earning twenty-five thousand. and because i was earning something i had no need to beg anybody i had money to pay for my transport i had money to eat what i needed to eat and with that twenty-five thousand naira, i registered for my phd and i was doing it i was lecturing in the bible school and i was preaching as an itinerant preacher many people lazy around and because they have tendency of scamming they sit down idle telling people that they are men of god this is why the body is not experiencing the level of dignity and power she should have amongst the nations of the world paul the apostle walked with his hands hope you know he was a tent maker the man is a tent maker as i'm talking to you i have lands that i bought from my savings and when it goes up i will sell them i'm not here preaching i that's why i can go anywhere and talk anything god puts in my heart i didn't come for your honorarium you will never have integrity if you have nothing doing people can manipulate you i went to preach somewhere because the man saw somebody drop crutches he came to me and said uh, 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 they, they, i should call for a seed i said i don't call for seeds i'm a revivalist i come to set men on fire if you want people to sow seed teach them about the covenant of giving when they learn it they will give by revelation and by the leading of the holy spirit they will not be coerced to give and if you have not taught them that i will not coerce them to give because if they give there will be no reward and if there's no reward they will become frustrated hope you know what people can do when they see somebody drop crutches and start working they can go and take their house rent and come and give and say no the level of anointing i saw here something will happen but they are not doing it from revelation or from the leading of the holy spirit and after three months when the landlord ejects them they will come and say god is not faithful because we will make many become atheists by not teaching them the truth if you are here today and you are idling away you can never prosper no matter the prophecies we give you you must get something doing with your hands because when god comes to bless you there must be a contact place